Thank you, President. The Victorian Government has been using police as a club against dissent from their state of emergency overreach for the last year, attacking protesters, Facebook posters and independent media. Apparently, the New South Wales Government has been looking on with envy and have now gone, hold my beer. On 4th of June, Christo Lanka was arrested in New South Wales by the New South Wales Fixated Persons Investigations Unit. The unit was created to tackle individuals who are obsessed with issues, ideals or, or individuals, or who are plotting acts of violence or terrorism. Christo has been charged with stalking and faces a potential five years in jail for approaching New South Wales Deputy Premier John Barry Lero on two occasions. Christo is a producer for a political comedy YouTube channel Friendly Geordies, and Mr Barry Lero has launched legal action claiming that Jordan Shanks has defamed him in earlier videos. Now they're using the power of the state to attack the media. It's ridiculous to think that the creators of political comedy could be considered likely to commit terrorist act because of their chaser style, attending public events and annoying the New South Wales Deputy Premier on film. Christo is clearly not a terrorist. Friendly Geordies might be silly, petty, insulting, rude and arrogant. Yep. There is no doubt they're politically biased, but if that ruled him out of being a journalist, we wouldn't have any media left in Australia. Yeah. Goodbye ABC and Sky. Laws will always be misused by the state. Politicians often have fragile egos and are eager to suppress criticism. The same governments also write our laws and direct our police. Governments will misuse any power they have, so we should never give our governments these powers in the first place. It is important that the right of freedom of speech is protected against government sanction, especially in cases involving media criticism, politicians and government policy. Yeah.